Hello there, happy Christmas 2020 and happy new year when 2021 rolls around. So I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's viewed my channel over the last year and indeed everyone who has viewed my channel ever since I started uploading to YouTube all them years ago. So this year I've reached over 10,000 subscribers which I am incredibly grateful to everybody for that and it was never even in my head that I would ever get to a subscriber count like that and of course 10,000 subscribers you know there's some great YouTube channels out there that are far far in advance of that and with some absolutely amazing content and you do not need to go very far to find them but as I stated I never expected to get anywhere near that I remember when I first uploaded my video my first ever video it was on a whim and I just uploaded a video I believe it was a winter king apple and that I'd grafted myself and I put it on there and that got some views and then from there on in I started uploading more and more and you see the views come in you see the subscriber count go up and five probably closer to six years later 10,000 subscribers there we are now this is not to talk about myself this is how you could take something from this and if there's anything you would like to do as long as it's wholesome of course you may wish to do it you know whether it's gardening or whether it's something else you know language learning musical instrument painting creative writing writing books painting and decorating you know or going to college to learn a new trade or a skill why not find a way of doing it you know, of course, you will have things that you will need to overcome. With regards to YouTube, many of you are aware of how much I've struggled and still do with the technical side of it. Editing videos, it took me ages to even be able to face sitting at a computer to be able to do that. And years, and for years, I was walking around with a smartphone filming. I don't even think I had a smartphone when I first uploaded. Um, I remember I ordered one and put videos up with that and I think how to support container grown watermelons that's it I'll link that down below that was filmed from a 20 or 30 pound smartphone and it's now at 80 odd thousand views something like that and you may end up doing something along those lines and, and, and getting a, a result like that, that you're totally unexpected for I remember or unprepared for I should say I remember at one point I borrowed an older camera and once again it took me ages to work out how to even use the thing and a lot of frustration as well that uh, I've had to sort of get round so there we are if you would like to drop me a line and say hello please feel free to comment down below even if you don't normally comment, I'd love to hear from you, I really would. I'm going to be having a little bit of time off work. Many of you are aware that I'm absolutely normally totally flat out with work. So a bit of downtime. So now is the time if you want to ask me any questions, you can drop me an email, okay, to danielmunderwood100 at gmail.com. If you've got any gardening questions that uh, you'd like to ask me, now is the time to do it over the next week or two. So there we are you can do that if you wish I remember when I first started YouTubing about a year or so before that I was watching a channel called Stephen Hayes and he's a chap who has an orchard in Hampshire and he grows some amazing varieties of apples all sorts of different heritage apples and other things as well it really is an amazing channel so Stephen Hayes type that in and you will see his channel and, and check that out if you wish and sometimes just watching something like that that inspired me so much to at least have a go to try my own YouTube channel so if you enjoy my YouTube channel you could even consider starting your own or something along those lines thank you for viewing and I will see you next time